What's up guys? So today we got Ultimate Legend Curtis Martin 99 overall dual style ground and pound and speed run style. 5'11", 97 speed, 95 agility, 99 ball carry, 100 juke, 95 truck, 101 carry, 99 excel, and 99 elusiveness. Also has a decent stiff arm and spin. I believe they're both a 96, yeah, 96 stiff arm and uh, spin. Now, 97 speed is pretty good, but of course there are so many corners and safeties and, and you know, some linebackers who are just as fast, if not faster. So as you can see here, from time to time, you definitely can hit the sideline and take off for a touchdown. But more often than not, stuff like this is going to happen. You know, you're going to hit the sideline, but someone's going to grab you. Or even worse, this right here. You're going to think you're going to score a touchdown, but somehow there, there are just some players that are going to catch you. When it came to the juke move, believe me, the guy was phenomenal. Just got amazing separation. Now, I do want to say that this guy was just amazing overall. I mean, I'm not trying to say he was terrible in any given area. So believe me, everything he did, you know, the truck, spin, juke, uh, stiff arm, everything was an A minus or better and I would give this part of his game a solid A minus. When I tried turning him into a power back you know with stiff arming and trucking I had great success as you can see right here got a lot of animations with the stiff arms especially this one right here which was crazy picked him off his feet and threw him into the dirt man that was amazing so believe me stiff arming was no problem with uh, Curtis Martin and as far as trucking got nice animations as well and even if he did not get the animation at the very least he fell forward for a few extra yards so believe me turning him into a power back was a good idea when it came to breaking tackles on his own he was not perfect at it but he was definitely better than Amon Green was when it came to breaking tackles on their own now of course I'm not saying he's gonna break tackles every single play but don't be surprised if you see stuff like this happen at least twice a game when it came to catching the ball he did not have a single drop you know with the wide open passes at least but he did drop like two in traffic which is you know I've said over and over I don't care about dropping in traffic you know as long as you're a running back I just need you to catch you know the wide op the wide open passes in the flat that's all I care about and as far as the hit sticks he did take I believe like 12 hit sticks which is a lot of hit sticks guys but anyways took like 12 hit sticks he did fumble once unfortunately but you know what to me that's not a bad percentage as far as running up the middle 97 speed is a nice combination especially when you can fall forward a lot like I said before if you try to truck people you know lower your shoulders you're gonna fall forward so if you're one of those guys who loves to run up the middle with the running back believe me Curtis Martin is gonna get you great results as you can see right here as far as the bad plays the only struggle point that I could find with him was his 97 speed you know just too often I saw him getting chased from behind and stopping what could have been a huge play but of course where I found the most success was the spin move he had a nasty spin move man like that right there that play made no sense to me I'm surprised even I pulled that off now I do want to make one thing very clear just because I say that this is what he did best it does not mean that this is the only thing he did good like I said everything the stiff arm the truck the, the juke the spin right here everything was decent the only thing that was holding him back like I said was the speed but of course guys if you pick him up use them whenever you want to but in my opinion I feel that this right here is the best way to use them to get the most out of them so that's going to wrap up this review guys my final thoughts do I think he's worth 300,000 I've been saying this for the past week if you want to play with you know certain cards their going rate is about what you're going to have to pay because this man 16 it's almost coming to an end so 300k is about what you're going to have to pay now guys one final review left and as you can see it's right there Walter Payne Ultimate Legend I'll do my best to get that out tomorrow but you know most likely it's going to be the next day but anyways guys Let's go wrap this up. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all boys for the final review of Mud 16. Peace.